Okay, we are on um, Go Math, Lesson 11.9, page 235, and the homework was assigned was numbers 2 through 8, evens only. Um, just as a preview to this lesson, um, first I want us to think there are actually two formulas that I can use when I'm solving for volume. And I want you to go ahead and jot this down at the top of your paper. I'm going to be over here to the side where there's a little bit more space. The first one is that volume equals length times your width times your height. There's another formula which we're not going to get into much today, but I need you to be familiar with it. And we can also say that volume equals big B times H. And so what you should notice is, is that the H's are both there. So therefore that the B stands for your base. The B is actually a number that you get when you multiply your length and your width. And so in volume, base, when you think base, you could think like bottom layer. So right here is my base when I multiply my length times my width, that very bottom layer. 6 times 5 is 30. That would be your base, your, uh, like your bottom layer, or A layer. Okay, um, so we're going to continue on again, knowing that volume equals length times width times height. So there's not a whole lot to this lesson, other than that it's just practicing on your multiplication. You'll want to solve it. I'm going to use this little margin over to the side to have my room to solve it. So if I know that volume equals length times width times height, go ahead and write that formula down again as we're showing our work. What is going to be my length? Right, my length is my long side. So my length is 12 times my width. Again, my width is how wide is it? It's 2. And again, these two numbers, if I were to multiply my length times my width, that would give me the base or the bottom layer. Um, but right now, I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to go on. My third dimension, my height. My height is 4. Now, in this instance, these pictures are labeled for you with the amount. But if I didn't know that, I could count how many unit cubes are there going across. So here's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And notice that I made like a little mark in each of them as I was counting to make sure that I didn't accidentally skip one or count one twice. So now I know that volume is equal to 12 times 2 times 4. Now I'm just going to multiply them. Now when you're multiplying, um, we can actually multiply our factors in any order that I want, meaning that I could multiply together first the 12 times 2 and take that answer and multiply it by 4, or I could do 2 times 4 and then multiply it by 12, or I could do 12 times 4 and multiply it by 2. It does not matter the order in which I multiply my factors, so it really is completely up to you. I'm going to multiply together first I've chosen. I think I'm going to do the 2 and the 4 first, and then I'll multiply with the 12. But again, it doesn't matter whatever order you choose. I know that 2 times 4 is 8, so now I'm going to be doing 12 times 8. Now, if you can't multiply this way with them going um, horizontally, you can always rewrite that um, over to the side with it going vertically if that's going to help you. Some people prefer this, some people are fine with this. It really is a matter of preference. Either way, I'm going to multiply 8 times 2. 8 times 2 is 16, so I would drop down a 6 and root up a 1. And now I'm going to multiply 8 times 1. 8 times 1 is 8, plus the regroup digit is 9. So either way you chose to multiply, you still got your same answer of 96. So the volume is 96, but we have to also remember the unit of measurement, meaning is it 
uh, centimeters as it was on number one? Is it units squared? Is it feet? Or not units squared. Unit cubes, feet, and in this instance, it's inches. So because you're doing volume, you can either write inches cubed with a three in the air, or you could have written 96 cubic inches. These are the same. This one is a little bit shorter, and actually I didn't really need to write out the word inches. I could have just done the in. What the three means, three is, when I see three, I need to say cubed, but really it means that it's a three-dimensional figure. I've multiplied three numbers. I've multiplied three numbers to get a volume. Three, three numbers, three-dimensional. Okay, let's look down at number four. Again, I need to know length times width times height. So I'm going to write down the formula, volume equals length times width times height. Oh, if you want to record the letter, you can submit your letters um, for a prize. The first letter that you can record down is the letter I. And um, it'll be a three-letter word. So length. What is the length on this figure? All right, the length is five. And obviously it's labeled, but again, if it's not, you would just count how many are there. There are five cubes there, five unit cubes, in which case in centimeters, your width is five, and your height is six. Now again, does not matter the order at which you choose to multiply them together. I could do five times five is 25, and then do 25 times six. I'm gonna do, Five times six first because it's going to give me 30 which is a nice even round number and that allows me to actually multiply my basic fact five times three is 15 and then add my zero I get 150 now for the interest of those friends who didn't know to do that and might have chosen to multiply five times five first you I want to show you that you'd still get the same answer just be maybe a little bit more work 5 times 5 is 25, and now I'd want to do 25 times 6. So some friends would have to rewrite it over to the side going vertically, some won't. So 6 times 5 is 30, drop down my 0, regroup my 3, and then 6 times 2 is 12, plus 3 more though is... 15. So either way I did it, I still got 150. Um, same answer, just again, you can do any order of factors. It's really just a matter of preference. And if you're able to notice that, hey, like right here, um, I knew I could multiply and get a nice even round number with a multiple of 10, so I was able to multiply a basic fact. That is just uh, something you pick up over time. So either way, I got 150. What was my unit of measurement? Right, centimeters. And how am I going to notate that it's volume? Again, is going to be the cubed. 150 centimeters cubed. Again, this three means three dimensions. It's a three-dimensional figure, the three-dimension length, width, and height. Or you could also rewrite it as 150 cubic centimeters. Either, either work. Okay, go down here. Your next letter to record if you're trying to track for your word is C. Again, that's your second letter out of three letters, C. Uh, go ahead and try number six. I would like you to pause it and really try and see if you can do it on your own first before doing it with me so that you know how, you, how comfortable you feel with the concept. So if volume is equal to length times width times height, then hopefully by now you've already paused it and solved it on your own. Your length was 6 times your width was 6 again. And your height is 4. And doesn't matter the order. Most of you will probably do 6 times 6 was 
36 times 4. Okay, now I need to multiply 36 times 4. If I need to rewrite it over to the side, going vertically, no problem. Boom. 4 times 6 is 24. Drop down my 4. Regroup my 2. And then 4 times 3 is 12. But plus 2 more is 14. So again, if you wrote it there, you still get the same answer. It's just completely up to you. So your volume, we decided was what? All right, 144 unit is feet cubed. And again, I can write it with the three, standing for three-dimensional, or I can write it as 144 cubic feet. Let's look at number eight, the last question for your homework for tonight. On number eight, you've got a word problem, which means we're definitely going to use cubed, so we're completely unwrapping that word problem. And answering what's asking, I'm just going to write cubes up top so that I don't accidentally skip any steps. And the word problem says, Amanda's jewelry box is in the shape of a cube that has six inch edges. What is the volume of Amanda's jewelry box? So the C stands for circle the numbers, and I only saw a six inch edges. Underline the question, what is the volume? Box are operation words, so volume is going to give me an operation word, but there's also another one hidden in there. Does anybody know what the other operation word is? Cube. Cube is going to give me another hint. And I could circle cube uh, to help me with a number or with the operation. Either one is fine. And now I need to evaluate expression. So I know I have a cube. It has six inch edges and I need to find the volume. So since I know the volume equals length times width times height, and all they've told me is that I have six inch edges on this cube, I really need to think, well, what do I know about a cube? What do I know about the attributes of a cube? Right, a cube has 12, um, 12, 12 edges, oh boy, has 12 edges, and all those edges have the same length. So if one edge is six inches, so are the other 11, which means that your length, your width, and your height are all going to be equal. They all have congruent sides, so they're actually all going to be six times six times six. So what's important to note is to make sure you multiply it three times. If you just do 6 times 6 is 36, that's probably going to be a distractor. They're probably going to expect people to just multiply two dimensions, but that's not volume if you're only multiplying the first two. That is, in fact, area. That would be a base. So I still need to multiply it by 6 one more time. Again, if you need to rewrite it over to the side, Going vertically, you can do that as well. So I'm just going to do 6 times 6 is 36 again. Drop down my 6 and regroup my 3. And then 6 times 3 is 18, but plus 3 more, 19, 20, 21. So when I did this, I got 216. I'm going to write it over here nice and neatly. 216, what is your unit of measurement? All right, 216 inches cubed. Now I have a nice, clean answer. Your last letter for the video tonight of your three-letter word is E. Please put that on a little tiny scrap piece of paper. Include your name on it and submit it for your chance to win a very special prize. Have a great night. I'll see you great guys.